why is it that you know existing iot devices or uh, is it is it because of the business model or it is about technology that uh, you may, like you said you know the users will have control you will have yes. the keys mm -hmm. So what is the reason that it, the, the current IoT is like, uh, as they say, the S in IoT stand for security, mm -hmm. you know, there should be a P also for privacy. Uh, you know, okay. the P in IoT stands for privacy. Mm -hmm. How can it be achieved and why is it that the current, you know, breed of IoT devices don't offer that? Oh boy, there's, uh, so there's a lot of reasons and so I'll kind of generalize because at any given right. company could Have fall a into a few of those and not all of them. So right. the generalization is that uh, it's a race to market. So you're having a specific, let's say, niche that you're targeting. Uh, be Let's say just take security cameras as an mm -hmm. example. Um, and so what you're trying to do is penetrate the market and get market share and potentially, you know, if you're going after investment to then, right. And so each of those cases, you're striving for Right, getting your product to market. So you're not gonna care about security as much. You're gonna say, I, you know, we just gotta get to market, we gotta start selling. So the motivating factor behind all of them typically is to uh, sell more product. A lot of it comes with additional services that you need to lock yourself into, signing terms of services that individuals might want not want to agree with long-term. And so uh, there's, uh, I feel like it's um, a lot of scrambling mm -hmm. uh, going on and all of the scrambling you lose on privacy protection right. and security mm -hmm. because the first and foremost is sell product, make revenue, right, maximize shareholder value. And so if you had, uh, let's say a, a, an organization had enough funds, then it gets to, okay, well, I can, they could maybe make a secure device, right, uh, meaning utilize uh, network security at the bare minimum, mm -hmm. but then they're still going to look to saying, oh, but we can you know, extract a little extra value by, uh, you know, uh, causing harm to the individual's privacy. Right. And so by purism stepping into that space, and we're not going to be doing this in, in 2018 or 2019, maybe it was the first year we we're going to start looking right. into that. A lot of it to do with our phone coming out that we're putting a lot of effort in right, right now. Uh, but when we enter into the IoT space, we will be coming at it from a different perspective. And so we'll be able to have the funds, we'll be able to have enough of the focus on security, and we also care about the individuals itself. Mm -hmm. So the products that we will put out will be thought as, hey, it gives you peace of mind because you're the one protected and you're the one in control. And that peace of mind story is, uh, is, resonates really well with uh, an awful lot of, of people because they can look at, put yourself in the shoes of, a, of somebody who's looking to go buy a security camera. Mm -hmm. You would see a security camera that's you know, from uh, Google. Right. And then you see a security camera from Purism who respects your rights. That if all other things are equal, you would choose a security camera that respects your rights. Um, now all the other things have to be equal to make that decision because you'd have to get to the point of saying, hey, this is, I want to go with ethical. Right. Which comes down to ease of use, right. convenience, which is a huge thing that we push for mm -hmm. at Purism.